Blog Talk Radio. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Tyrone Taylor, uh, a.k.a. The Flip Man. It's been a while since I did a, uh, a show and um, had a uh, student today call me, uh, very excited, about a deal, her actual first deal that she closed. Um, she's out of Atlanta. Uh, her name is Jackie. And i um, going to bring her on and let her tell her a story and how she got into real estate and how uh, she put this deal together and um, how it wasn't really uh, that easy to put together, but uh, she was persistent. You know, I helped her as much as I could, and um, I, she picked up her check today. You know, that's, that's a great thing. Um, but before I get into that, just, just always remember, um, you can always take advantage of all the uh, videos I have on YouTube. Uh, just simply do a, um, a uh, search for uh, the Flip Man and some of my videos will pick up from there. From there, you should be able to find my channel, Teach Me Flipping. And I uh, just take advantage of the 60-plus video, the real content. You know, you can always go, go to my uh, website, junkers101.com, also known as theflipman.com. But enough of that, bring you on. I'm try to add Jackie on here and um, try to get her to, to go into her story. Uh, Jackie, are you there? Yes, I am. How's it going? It's going awesome. It's been a it's been a great day, fabulous day. How has it been a great day for you? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, you know, thanks to you, uh, I you know picked up my first check, um, eight thousand dollars from my first deal. Um, I actually uh, started, um, well, actually was introduced to Ty. Tyrone back in um, August of '09, and you know we would go back and forth, and I uh, I came across his YouTube videos first of all, and they were so you know like down to earth, and it was really like the first time I could really really understand it. Um, I sat here one day and, and pretty much watched all 50 or something at the time, so you know called him, and um, I ended up getting the um, course where he would walk you through one deal, your first deal. Um, so, you know, again, this was back in August, so, uh, you know, he always answered my calls. Uh, he was, you know, very responsive, very um, easy to get a hold of. Um, it was a lot of back and forth, back and forth. Uh, I was uh, actually talked to him about a couple of deals, but those, you know, fell through. But this particular time, um, I was just so persistent and didn't give up and, um, you know, utilized the tools that he uh, gave me, uh, specifically the, you know, the bandit signs. Uh, which worked very well. Uh, that's how I actually uh, got the deal. A lady saw my son and uh, called me, and um, her house was a burnout. And but it was a brick home. Uh, it was a nice home. It just had you know caught fire. So um, negotiating back and forth uh, during the Christmas holidays, uh, speaking with her, uh, nothing happened. So finally around February, um, you know, went ahead to put the house on the contract, and um, you know, still going back and forth and back and forth, and finally. Um, Jack, I'm sorry. But before you go any further on, on your actual deal, um, mm -hmm. what I'd like you to do because it's important. A lot of people like to um, understand how you got from point A to point B to even be interested in real estate. Um, how long have you actually been interested? Well, I'll just say this: What got you interested in real estate, and how long ago was that? And just just give us a timeline to to the point that. It's up until I get August, and then we'll go into this actual deal that you did to close on today. Okay, sure. Um, I got involved in real estate uh, actually in October of '08. Um, I'm actually my my background is in sales, so you know they would always talk about uh, you know Robert uh, Kiyosaki, Rich Dad Poor Dad. So uh, they gave a seminar in Atlanta, you know Rich Dad Poor Dad, and I attended the seminar. So uh, you know, of course, I ended up you know like thousands of other people ended up buying the course. But, you know, I then realized that, the, you know, the people that were teaching the courses weren't necessarily, you know, that easy to get a hold of or, you know, was in around near Georgia. So, um, you know, that was back in uh, October when I had my first course. So I got into real estate because it just seemed like, you know, I didn't have any money. Um, you know, I don't have great credit. So, you know, you can get in, you know, they kept saying how, you know, easy it was to get in with no money and you could do deals, and I was like, you know, you're right. 
So, you know, uh, being skeptical, I still, you know, invested in the course. Uh, but I hadn't really gotten anywhere. Um, I think I had one other home under contract, uh, but this was after I uh, started talking with uh, Tyrone as well. So I never really had done anything, you know, up until, you know, like reading, uh, educating myself um, up until uh, from October of 08 to like, uh, you know, maybe around June or July of 09. So I finally figured out, you know, that this is something I really, really want to do. Uh, and that's when I uh, came across the, uh, the Flipman. Somehow I, I think I did a Twitter search for real estate, and uh, he came up. And from there, you know, I linked on and went to his website, and that's how I started. You know, I got a hold of him and started watching all the videos. I never knew you found me through Twitter. And I, I rarely um, post anything on there anymore. But <laughs> I, I, it was I Twitter or out. Facebook. Yeah, it was Twitter or Facebook. But I think I, I did a search for both, and you came okay. up. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, you were, um, you were talking about, um, um, I guess, when, when you got my course or whatever. You know I'm a big fan of sign. I know people get tired of hearing it or whatever. And... Mm -hmm. um, you're in Atlanta, so you're not that far from it, even though we never actually met face to face. Um, just just go through your first experience as far as you know, putting out the signs. And I think I think initially you only put out a few, and I tell you, Jack, you got to do more. And right. um, just just go through that, just go through that process, and let people can hear what you how, how it went for you. Right. Well, I, um, one of your videos also showed you how to put up the Bennett signs. It you know told you what the what kind of market to buy, you know the nails, all of that, the whole nine. So, uh, you know, of course I was intimidated at first. I think when I first put them out, it took me like, what, six, seven hours just to put up like 30 signs. So <laughs> I was like, Ty Tyrone, it's taking me, you know, like seven or eight hours just to put up 30 signs. He said, well, something you, you know, must not be doing right. So uh, lo and behold, you know, um, time after time, I increased, you know, my confidence increased. Uh, but, you know, for a woman, it was very um, intimidating for me because, you know, I'm a woman. I'm like, you know, I'm side the road, putting up signs, blah, blah, blah. Somebody's going to hit me. But I just got out of my comfort zone, and, uh, you know, it got easier and easier. Now, you know, $8,000 later, it's like I'm ready to go put up some more banner signs. So but it, it is a, you do have to get out of your comfort zone. I mean, it was kind of scary, you know, all of that. But, uh, you know, I just went with it, you know, prayed and, and just, just went with it, uh, and and as I've, I've constantly built up a, a database of buyers. Uh, one of the uh, videos from uh, Tyrone was about putting up the uh, home for sale, twelve thousand dollars, and then your phone number of getting uh, cash buyers, which that's helped tremendously, uh, and and all of that. So I'm definitely a, a bandit uh, sign person now. I will, this is what this is what's up. I mean, it was so. It, it was the easiest way because I had done direct mail, you know, sent out hundreds and hundreds of, uh, you know, postcards and letters trying to find absentee owners and all of that, and nothing, you know, was as effective as, you know, the bandit signs. So I now well, have uh, more leads that I could still work from, from my database, from all the leads I've gotten, you know, from my bandit signs. Well, what, as far as the area that you chose to place them, um, I've actually forget how do we actually end up. Is it in around where you live, or is it somewhat off the beaten path as far as your normal travel travels? Well, I did a little bit of both. I've done it several times, so I've just tried everything. Um, I've put them near where I live. I've even, if you're familiar, uh, anyone's familiar with Atlanta, 285 is just like a big circle. I've even started riding around 285 because you never know where the calls are going to come from. You know, just like even putting them around my house, people were calling me from like way over on the other side of town. So I um, decided to just experiment with it and uh, just spread them out. And, um, you know, people will call from all over regardless of where you put them at. So, but I did try to start, you know, in my backyard and closer to where I live, first of all. Um, I, you know, truth be told, I did get, uh, you know, uh, stopped uh, once or twice, uh, you know, from, from an officer. But, um, I mean, it was nothing, like, really, really serious. Uh, but, you know, it... it I just found a better way to, you know, to put them and, you know, like that, so. Well, as far as when you were putting them out, I normally, I, you know, people ask me all the time, well, when do you put them out? Do you put them out at night or whatever? You know, I just put them out when I feel like it. You know, now the best days that I've found as far as 